warm up for the Frekoff concert. It's an all day concert going into the night with a premium lineup, including the Pigram Brothers and the John Butler Trio, all coming together for the main message Frekoff. Keep out of Western Australia for fracking. Please welcome one of the greatest bands Western Australia's ever produced. Let's go mad for the Pigram Brothers! Mad at a at a fireside in this beautiful land. Well, we've come to request of John and Danielle to help out with this, uh, you know, all the fracking that's going on around the country. And we've got the same problem up north, but, uh, and uh, we've brought all the brothers with us, and uh, it's great to be here. We, we haven't really played this far south before. <laughs> Nowhere else but here Nowhere else but here Yeah, nowhere else but here Oh no, home myself Yeah, yeah Um, I'm Alan Uh, Alan Uh, hello Hello, I'm Gavin Hi, I'm Colin We've got, we got David here G'day, how you going? And, and we've got Peter, the bass player How you going, man? Hand. Just listen to little honeysuckle singing sweet yeah, and clear. Good friends with the Pigman Brothers and <laughs> plenty of time in Broome. We, we fought for 10 years for uh, James Price Point, Wamadan, that country there. It set the world's largest gas plant from being built and sent all the pirates away. Uh, even though Barnett still wants to do the same thing, um, all the companies moved out of town. So yeah, I, I know that country well. I've spent a lot of time on that country. And the blue moon starting to bite. Hey, mom, I can just taste your fist. So what we're saying to the politicians is look at the facts, look at the real science, and look at the legislation that's involved. These, these companies who want to who wanna mine this gas, this tight gas, the shale gas, this coal seam gas, the burus and the, the cal energies and the bumbery energies. We want these politicians to realize that it's an unregulated industry. Terrible, a terrible history. Got the dust and mud stuck in our head. We feel that we've got a gun pointed to our head to say that we can't say no. But the Yaru people vigorously oppose against Buru's fracking program. Uh, so the whole tribe is saying no, and the government is saying that we can't say no. That's wrong. So that process should be reviewed or looked at um, and come out to say that um, traditional people on exclusive possession land on granted to us by our native title by the federal court. Um, what exclusive means to me is that no one else in the world could make a decision what happens on this country, only the Yaru people. But the government says that he's got veto over this country, and that's wrong. Yeah, music has the power to, to bring people together and I, and I think we're just we're using that as as our vehicle to let people know what's going on. Soon I'll be dreaming and And I also do monitoring um, on our country, such as the bilbies. These creatures are in, 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 vulnerable species. The biggest destruction to them, gas company or the oil company, what they do, they do seismic lines. And in that process, what they use is a big bulldozer. They drop the blade and they push that blade for 70 kilometers long. And there's no tree at all. So if any trees in the way or any anthills or any bilby holes, they'll cover it and they'll knock it over. The worst thing is that um, the company does their activity during the day when they put the blade down and push it. That little creature, he's under the ground three meters. Uh, he can't hear or anything on top. At night, he wants to come out and the hole is blocked. The company says they are good diggers and I agree with them, but they only dig one way and they dig down. They can't dig up.
See, when when I was growing up, there's only maybe 1,500 people in the whole town. It's, you know, it's brooms, uh, brooms, brooms. It's, it's caught in between, you know, the, the development thing. Only having tourism as its main income source. So you know, there's, there's way, they're pushing ways to try and um, have this come some kind of economic development, but you just got to be careful how you do it, you know? especially when the, the kind of mining industry tries to move in. And uh, yeah, it's got to be done in a quite good way, you know. Yeah. From little things, big things grow. Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent. Things.